David Price versus Audley Harrison. <laughs> Where do I start, man? Where do I start? Um, this fight is made. This fight has been made purely to boost David Price's public profile in the UK. That's it. That's the only reason this fight has been made. Um, Audley Harrison is still a big name here in the UK. Uh, for all the wrong reasons, it seems, but he's still a big name. You know, no one, no one respects him as a fighter anymore. But for some reason, people still enjoy watching him get beat up. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. So, um, you know, they, they, uh, Frank Maloney, David Price's manager, has picked Woody Harrison as an opponent to make him more well known to the British public. Um, at this stage, Woody Harrison is just. A one, a com- he's a completely a one-trick pony. All he has is a left-hand counter. I mean, Aldi Harrison is too scared to even lead off with any punches these days. Even against a guy like Ali Adams, who is a very low-level fighter. You know, no disrespect, but I'm just being honest. He's very low-level opposition. Aldi didn't even have, you know, the the <laughs> the heart to to lead off against Ali Adams. You understand? And Ali Adams is not a big puncher. He's not a skillful boxer or anything like that. Audley didn't... He, he didn't even want to risk throwing any, any, any lead punches against a guy like that. So you can bet your bottom dollar that he's definitely not going to try and lead off against uh, David Price. It's not going to happen. Yeah, he's going to sit back and he's going to try and land, land a left-hand counter. And the problem is with Audley Harrison is that he don't even have a jab these days. Yeah, I know he's had a lot of injuries and stuff like that, which is, you know which is why he says that he won't really throw his right hand that much because obviously all these are southpaw. So he don't really throw his right hand jab that much because of you know his injured pectoral muscle or bicep or shoulder or whatever the hell it is. Uh, so he's just, he just sits back and waits for the left hand and that's all he does. And you know, when the left hand does land, it's a very powerful punch. Yeah, he can hurt and knock out probably most heavyweights with it. But that left hand is not even that reliable. Yeah, it's, it's pretty quick, but it's not that quick. It's pretty accurate, but it's not that accurate. There's a lot of fights where Audley Harrison never lands his left-hand counter. A lot of his fights. So, you know, there is a moderate danger there for David Price to look out for in that left hand. But David Price going into the fight knows that that's all Audley Harrison has. It's not like Audley Harrison's got a jab, a body attack, you know, <coughs> inside game. I mean, maybe once, once upon a time he might have had an inside game, but not now. So he knows that Uli don't have none of this stuff. All he's got to watch out for is that left hand and that's it. So, you know, I'm sure he's going to train very diligently and put together, a, you know, a good game plan to stay away from the left hand and um, to work on Audley's right side because Audley pretty much don't have a jab these days. So if, if Audley ain't throwing a jab, well, that gives David Price the opportunity to throw his own jab. You know, he's a very big, tall guy himself. Um, David Price is about two or three inches taller than Audley Harrison. Audley's 6'6". Six, six. David Price is about 6'8 and a half. So um, he should be able to land his jab um, and just watch out for the Audley left. And that's it. Um, the only danger in this fight really is if David Price gets a bit overconfident or n- not even overconfident, if he gets a bit over anxious to get the knockout because there's a lot of pressure on David Price. There's a lot of expectations on his shoulders. Yeah, a lot of people are touting him as the next best thing and what have you. So he might feel he might feel pressure in there to perform. He might feel pressure to knock Audley Harrison out. You know, because what if the fight goes the distance? That's not going to reflect very well on David Price, especially in such a high, pro- in you know the the most high profile fight of his career so far. Yeah, the whole purpose of this fight is to make him, you know, more well known to the general public. So if 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 he you know, looks lackluster against a guy like Audley Harrison, you know, the general public won't really, you know, may not really warm to him like that. You understand? So I don't know, maybe he might feel pressure to knock Audley Harrison out. And if he does, there's a possibility that he, you know, he might make some mistakes in there and leave himself vulnerable to that big left hand from Audley. Um, but will it happen? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, it's, it's possible. Don't get confused. It is possible. Anything's possible in boxing. And if, Audley Harrison knocks out David Price, I won't be shocked, right? David Price has been knocked down a lot of times in the amateur, you know, in the amateurs. I've seen it for myself. I saw him get knocked down a bunch of time in, times in the amateurs. But one thing about um, those, uh, those knockdowns that he suffered, to be fair to David Price, is that he got up. Every time I saw David Price knocked down in the amateurs, he got up. 
Yeah, I never saw him knocked out cold. I never saw, you know, him get knocked down and, you know, he was just finished there and then. No, he always got up. So who's to say that if Audley catches him with a big left hand, David Price don't get up, right? And if he gets up, maybe he'll be able to survive. Is Audley that good a finisher at 40 years old with all those injuries and lack of stamina and work rate? Does he really still have the energy and the strength to finish off a big, strong six foot eight guy when a guy's trying to smother him and get away? Does he have the strength to do it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, it takes a lot of effort to finish off a guy that big and strong. You know, especially, like I said, when you're 40 years old, you don't have that much energy and you don't have that great a work rate and you've got injury problems. It's very difficult to finish off a big guy like that. So, you know, Price might be able to survive and then, you know, get on his bike and win win the rest of the fight with his jab. You know, so um, you, you definitely have to make David Price the favourite in this fight. Because, uh, like I say, all these are one-trick pony. David Price only has to look out for the one thing. And that's it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to go with David Price to win. Uh, I reckon he'll probably bust Audley up with the jab and maybe win around eight or nine rounds. Maybe in the eighth round. I'm not sure how, how long this fight is scheduled for. Is it only an eight rounder or a 10 rounder? I'm not sure. But I think he might bust Audley Harrison up and maybe make him quit on his stool. If not, then win on points. But like I say, there is the possibility of an upset if David Price starts getting a bit reckless and looking for the knockout in there, trying to force the knockout, because that does kind of play into Audley Harrison's hands because he is a counter puncher and he's just looking for that left hand. So, um, you know, <sighs> I hate to say that an Audley Harrison fight will be interesting, but <laughs> this might be a little bit interesting, you understand? Um, for, those of us, for those of you uh, who are interested in the... The, the strategy element of boxing, you know, because I don't think this fight will be an exciting fight. Uh, David Price definitely has the ability to knock Audley Harrison out in the first round, right? He definitely has the ability to knock Audley Harrison out in the first round if he lands his punches, right, in the first round. But I, I, I think Audley, uh, sorry, I think that David Price is a bit more cautious than that. I'm not sure he's that ambitious as a fighter. Right? I think he has to see... I think he has to get the opponent under control and get him hurt first, you know, get him stung and soften him up a little bit before he goes in for the kill. I think he's he's more that type of fighter. I don't think he's the kind of guy that's going to go out there and just try and blast you out, yeah? And with a guy like Audley, it's going to take a bit of breaking down, yeah? It's going to take a bit of breaking down um, for most people who beat Audley, you know? It's going to take... You're either going to out, have to out-hustle him or you're going to have to break him down. I know Michael Sprott knocked him out, but that's when Audley himself was getting a bit ambitious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because in the rematch, obviously, Sprott did not manage to land that left hook the way he did in the first fight. So I think it's going to take a bit of breaking down, you know, um, of Audley because he's going to fight so cautiously and so defensively. Um, it's, I think it will probably take a few rounds. So I'm going to go for David Price to win Maybe a stoppage around nine rounds. Maybe Audley Harrison quitting on the stool. He could even go to points. Um, like I say, uh, David Price winning by KO early wouldn't surprise me at all. You know, if he, if he lands the shot, Audley's not that quick these days. But, you know, you never know. And, and like I said, the uh, the upset is also possible. But I, would, I won't be putting no money on it. I mean, for those of you who do put money on it, yeah, if you win, hey, good for you. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But I won't be putting any money on it, man. I, I, I ain't got no much faith in Audley Harrison. You understand? And I know I'm not jumping on the David Price bandwagon either. Um, a lot of people are. I don't think David Price has... I think David Price has got a lot to prove. You understand? I'm not as convinced by David Price as a lot of other people are. They're willing to say that, you know, he's the best young prospect in the division right now, that... He's the only one that can challenge the Klitsch goes this, that and the other. He may prove to be, but as of now, I, 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 there's still answers. There's still, you know, questions I need to be answered, you know, with regards to David Price. There's still certain things I'm not sure about with this guy. You know, his chin, his heart, his stamina. Um, what happens when he comes up against a good technical boxer? I don't know, man. I don't know. There's, there's still questions there for me with regards to David Price because he really hasn't fought anyone yet. You know what I mean? No disrespect to any of his opponents, but in terms of European world level, he ain't fought anyone. So I don't know what all the David hype, hype price, uh, sorry, all the David Price hype is really based on. So, but anyway, um, 
he obviously has potential, but you know, I think people are getting a little bit carried away. Um, so yeah, man, that's what I'm going for anyway. Let me stop procrastinating and what have you. I'm going for a David Price to win the fight around nine round stoppage. So let me know what you lot think in the comment section below. This is Hatman. I'm out.